long Logan Thompson had an answer for you every time you had a good look. What was it like to watch him perform that way, and how did you guys finally solve him? Wyatt Johnson. That's kind of how we solved him. Um, no, he's a great goalie. Um, he made some good saves tonight. I think there's some that were maybe on us. Um, but we had a kid here that's elite and you know, won the game for us, so it was great. Uh, Wyatt, back here. Um, was this, this was very similar to Seattle goal? Did you learn anything from that goal that you used on this one? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, tried a couple low and, um, you know, it didn't work, so I figured I'd try to throw one up high and, uh, yeah, lucky enough it worked. Why, what was the key in the first 30 minutes for this game, especially given the situation that you guys were facing? Um, I mean, I think the desperation, you you know, you don't want to go down 3-0 to, you know, the Stanley Cup champs and uh, the Tony Stanley Cup champs. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's that desperation coming out and, um, you know, making sure we're doing all those things that makes us successful and, um, yeah. Wyatt, from a confidence perspective, how different does this year feel from last year in the playoffs for you? Um, yeah, it definitely feels a lot different. Um, you know, obviously, you got to an experience a, a pretty good run by us last year. Um, and so I think just you know, kind of learning from, from last year, kind of you know, the playoff style of hockey and um, you know, trying to learn, trying my best to learn kind of the different areas. Obviously, playing, playing Vegas for six games last year, I think kind of helps coming into the first round and kind of knowing what they're like. But um, yeah, I mean, the confidence and then just having a chance to play with some pretty good players, um, you know, no, no matter who it is. For Tyler, I know you mentioned how good he was, but just not just the final goal, but all game, just how big was it for a player as young as he is to step up in a situation like this? 15 shot attempts, I think, he said. So maybe he's going to pass one of them. I don't know. But no, I mean, it's great. Um, you know, different players need to step up at different nights uh, this time of year. Um, I think we've taken a lot of pride in the different ages we have on our team, the different uh, times of the careers we have, and, you know, seeing him last year and then how much he's evolved to this year. And then, you know, it's one thing being elite in the regular season, but to do it in playoffs, um, you know, at his age, that's, uh, that's great. Wyatt, the few times that we've seen you on a line with uh, Rope and uh, Robo this season, it's been really effective. What makes the three of you so strong together? Um, I don't know. I mean, they're just they're great players. Um, you know, they're so smart and um, you know see the ice really well, make really good plays. So um, I think it's for me, it's just making sure um, you know making those plays and um, I guess just trying to feed off of them. Obviously, they've been um, you know so good for us. Um, so I think it's just me trying to do my best to kind of, you know, help them. Oh, this is for both guys. Uh, what was the uh, feeling on the bench uh, with Logan making save after save and Vegas coming back to tie the score at 2-2? Was there any frustration level building? Um, I mean, I think it's just uh, focusing on that next, next shift. I mean, we knew the situation coming into Vegas. We know... You know, these guys are the champs from last year. We know how good they are in home ice. You know, our message today was, you know, focusing on your first shift, that first period. You know, this first game, um, you know, we had to come in here. We had to steal one no matter what. And now, <clears throat> now we want to steal two. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think individually, you know, I looked over at Johnny. He had a chance trying to go five hole um, in overtime, and he was – you know, a little frustrated, but the next shift you saw what he did. So um, just about bouncing back and uh, continuing on. For either one of you guys, game two, you guys score late in the first period, take that one nothing lead, they answer right away. Just how important was it to get into the locker room after the first period with that one nothing lead? Um, yeah, it was great. Um, you know, we obviously haven't, you know, I didn't really play with the lead for, a, you know, a whole lot of time up until, um, you know, tonight's game. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's huge to get the first one and, um, you know, be able to play with a lead. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, just getting that first goal and then just trying to take it from there, not, not laying back and just, you know, keep playing forward.